Welcome back to the show, folks. You'll be pleased to know that all the girls have had sex in the break and they're all relaxed and ready to go again. <laughs> Dear Stan and Beauties, I'm a 23-year-old mother of three gorgeous kids. I was in a 10-year relationship with an emotionally and physically abusive man. He never hit the children, but I believe my four-year-old daughter is scarred for life from watching him beat me. I left four months ago and the children have been visiting him a lot. I've been forced to visit as well because my daughter won't stay there alone. He's telling me now that he's changed and he's given up the alcohol and the pot and he begs me to come back to him. I really love this man, but don't trust him. Uh, tell me how to be strong and stay away from him. Alex on the email. Eva, we get letters like this all the time from people. Now, common sense would tell you if somebody's going to beat you, you get out of there. Yes. But this here's a woman that is thinking about going back to somebody who beats her. A hell of a lot of them do. And I think it's a real tragedy because you believe that they come back and they say, I'm going to change, I'm going to change, I'm going to change. And it just goes on and on. I mean, it's a pattern, unfortunately, that really, I mean, usually if they've built you up once or twice, they're going to continue unless they stop dead at that stage. Now, all I can say is don't believe him. The books are full of women that went back there. You really need to give your kids a safe place to grow up and a safe place to learn that relationships shouldn't be based on love. to go through what a lot of women went through in the 40s, 50s and 60s. Well, that was one of the advantages of feminism. You see, we managed to set those refuges up. But I think what's really important for women is to recognise that that, that sort of behaviour doesn't change easily. And very rarely will it change unless people have got the right sort of support and have actually done something. Just giving up the grog and the pot's not going to Well, it's amazing. a big move, though, isn't it? Because, you know, if he's given up the booze and given up the pot, you know, at least he's made a decision to try and improve his life. Yeah, four months. Well, give him 12 months and see okay. whether he's had it at all. And so should she give him 12 months and then see what happens? Well, I think she should certainly give him more than four months. I mean, you can give it up, you can give it up every day for four months. It doesn't mean you've actually given it up. Yeah, OK, she Rebecca. She gave him 10 years, Stan, 10 mm. years. Now, you poor sausage, I really feel for you, Alex. Um, it, from the sound of it, you've been with this person 10 years. You started off with him when you were 13. What a shocking person he is for a start. Mm. He's given you three children, and I'm very glad that you, that you have beautiful children and that is apparently the only wonderful thing that he has given you. You have been strong, good on you. You left, you took your children away to protect them and to protect yourself and that was the most important move you could make. Why they're seeing a lot of him, I don't understand. Um, it sounds well, they're the to me, kids. I mean, the kids yeah, are going to... little girl doesn't even want to be with him. Yeah, okay. The little girl doesn't even want to be there. Obviously there is a problem there and if mum's going there, that's fine. Mum can stay with the little girl. The little girl is unhappy, mum's unhappy. The whole thing sounds like, it sounds to me like Alex is off on the right path but she's not quite sure of her path be sure darling seek help you are okay. doing the right thing get out of the hands of this idiot but make sure he gives you some money to help support the children all right proof yeah well you're asking us how you can be strong just look at your children do you want to give your children that legacy of fear and that's what they have already I mean if your little girl is that scared uh, I would also be very concerned if I had sons uh, involved that, you know, what have they learned? What are the lessons of that 10-year relationship that, that your, your sons have learned? That it's okay to abuse? I wouldn't trust this man for a minute. I wouldn't forgive him. I would get on with my life and get as far away from him as possible. And just keep looking at your kids. That's your strength and your motivation. Okay, Fiona, a lot of uh, women out there do forgive and forget Mm. all the past injustices that their men have, have delved out. Mm, no, I think in this situation, um, the, the problem with abusive relationships is often they're addictive. And often, I mean, I, to be honest, in my early 20s, had a couple of really shocking relationships where I w was in, emotionally and physically abused. What, uh, some bloke used to belt you? Yes. I'll say that on camera, yes. It was 10 years ago, but yes. And it was a difficult chain. It went through... Was this a regular pattern? Yes. What, just every week? Sometimes every night. I've, in, in, I've addressed it in, in, in one of my books about But because about the of issues. what? To drink? Because of drugs? No, or? because, well, maybe a little because of drugs. Like, so, certainly pot. I think everyone tolerates pot, but I think it's one of the most evil drugs. I'll just say that I think marijuana sucks the big one. It's, it's just the most. In, in, hor the effects are so insidious that people just don't realise. They think it's all passive and all easy. It's not. It encourages. So, how long did you stay in this relationship? And insecurity. How long did you stay in this relationship? Oh, one of them went on for a few years because this is what I was going to say. They become addictive. You think. One of, the, one of the patterns of an abusive relationship is the guy manages to convince the woman that it's her fault. Mm. And I used to think, if I just next time, if I don't say the wrong thing, if I don't look at, look at the wrong person in the wrong way, or, you know, if I, if I just learn how to play this game and do it properly and don't get anything wrong, everything will be all right. And 
But the thing is with these guys, they change the game, they change the deck of cards, they change the deal. You just never know and you spend your whole life like tripping over yourself. Do you and find that you can't trust men them. after that relationship especially? No, no, I mean, well, you know, 10 years on, I'm, I'm happy to say I've broken the pattern, but it took a long time. I, I went back into similar relationships because I expected I deserved abuse. Did you ever well, happened, that that honestly, no, that, no, but it look, no, no, and this, this is, is what I'm saying. Got, Guys and women, because women can be, you know, um, just as abusive to men, though unfortunately it's, it's much more often the other way around. This is what confuses me. You're a very intelligent woman and you say that you went into the next relationship and you expected the abuse. It was a, I'm not going to get too esoteric, but it was a journey I had to go through, a, a self-discovery thing. I had to discover my self-worth, my self-value, and sometimes the people that are the cruelest to you are your greatest teachers. Okay. So, you know. Very quickly, Tara. Abuse is psychological and not just physical, and that is why women stay, and that is why mm. women women come back and I speak to a lot of police officers in my research and they tell me over and over again how frustrated they are because these women will call them up and they are beaten and they say help me and they try to give them help and eventually they go back they to the man that. who beats them. All right, Very Just sad. quickly, I saw a movie last night called Pay It Forward, it's Kevin Spacey and Helen Hunt and it, and it deals with this issue and I think the most important thing to come out of it and Alex you're looking for strength, I'd suggest going and seeing this movie because the most important thing that comes out of it is yes you have been abu abused and we know that but the effects on the children mm -hmm. are what counts and it's not only the women here, you're, you're dealing with your children as well and you've got to look at that for your strength. Okay, Alex out there on the email, uh, you say here uh, but you don't trust him, tell me how to be strong and stay away from him. Darling, just use your common sense, you don't want to be around being a, uh, you know, beaten all the time, just walk out, stay out, keep away from them, sure you might have to take the, uh, the daughter over to see him and things like that, but you know, you've just got to look after your kids, you've just got to look after yourself and the only way you're going to do that properly is to stay away from this man. We'll be back with more of Beauty and the Beast. Mm -hmm.